products that I want to show you guys that I have been low-key gatekeeping. Oh my god, my holy freaking grail. What's your strictest boundary in relationships? Say the nicknames you tell to Fred. Look how shiny and gorgeous my hair looks. I literally can't. Good morning! Welcome back to my channel! Yay! For today's video, I just want to do a little get ready with me for a date. I just want to do my makeup and get ready while talking to you guys like we're on FaceTime because I feel like we haven't really had a sit down and talk and like kind of had a conversation. So I just want to chat and talk to you guys also while showing you guys my little routine because I do a lot of things to prepare for my date. I also posted a Q&A story on my Instagram, so I'm going to be answering a a couple of questions that a lot of you guys are curious about in regards to my relationship and stuff like that so yeah we're gonna have a little deep chat and let's get started I look like a greasy freaking mess monster right now I oiled my hair all over my roots now I need to go wash it off before the date because obviously I'm not gonna show up like this a lot of you guys have been asking me how I make my hair so shiny so what I do is I actually put in rosemary oil all over my scalp the night before and I massage it and then I tie it in braids I've been using this Unove silk oil essence on my hair to give it that glow and shine I got from Olive Young and I highly recommend it to those who are looking to achieve that shiny hair without looking greasy. But before I hop into the shower, I'm gonna be massaging my face right now. I feel very bloated. Woke up a couple of hours ago and I don't know why, maybe it's because I ate ramen at like 12 a.m. last night. I just have a lot of fluids in my face and I just want to get rid of that. I'm gonna put on an eye patch because I've been feeling very dry these days because it's the winter. I also just want to brighten up under my eyes. So I'm using my green tangerine in Vita C eye gel patch. This I also got from Olive Young. I love it so much because it has this like really cool texture that helps soak it in all into my skin. While I have that on, I'm gonna be massaging my face. I usually have a tool to massage my face, but it's out of battery right now and it's charging, so I'm just gonna be using my hands. Honestly, hands work fine. Don't ever massage your face dry, otherwise your skin might be very irritated. So what I use is this Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This essence, if you don't know what it is, it's like snail mucin, so it's very, very gelatinous. It's perfect for massaging your face. My number one tip to get rid of bloating in the morning is to massage your neck because this is where all the lymph nodes are and all the puffiness will drain through this side. And I actually learned this technique from this facial place that I went in Korea. I'm really just massaging this part. Massage my temples. I look really crazy right now, guys. This is also a pressure point right here between your eyes and your nose. Can you guys tell? <laughs> and I apply pressure on my nose. Just massage my face for like five minutes and I think I'm ready to go. I'm gonna wash everything off, do an everything shower. I'm gonna shave everything. I'm gonna scrub my body and I'll be right back. I look like a baby seal right now. So before the water dries off, I'm gonna use my Propolis Energy Toner. This is my second bottle actually, I finished the other one. I put a heck ton of toner and I just glide it all over my face to wipe off any excess oil residue. And then while that's drying, I quickly use my Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. hydrated and glowy guys. I realized that hair honestly makes such an impact on how you look. Ever since I actually started taking care of my hair, my hair has been growing so fast and not only is it growing so fast, it's also so silky and smooth and shiny so if I curl my hair it looks gorgeous. I also feel like I've been getting a lot of hair growth. Number one tip is to never wash your hair in hot scorching water. It really damages your scalp. The next tip is to find a really good shampoo that fits your scalp. I have a very oily scalp, so honestly, I try to wash my hair every single day. The shampoo that I've been recently using is this one, Dr. Groot Microbiome, and it is for Tymo Chungsung Kale. So it's for balding scalp care, I guess. I mean, I'm not balding, I'm just using it to prevent it. I got this from Olive Young. And then for conditioner, I just use whatever conditioner, but always make sure you only apply it at the end of your hair so that your roots don't get oily. What's the longest time? 
when you had serious beef with your sisters. I think the biggest, most recent fight that I had with my sisters was in Japan and specifically with Erica. We fought and didn't talk for like the rest of the trip and that lasted like two days i think so that's like the biggest longest serious beef i am a person where i can i'll get really mad in the moment and then i'll get over it really quickly but i feel like erica is a little bit more on the sensitive side so she'll be still upset at me other than that we just have little quarrels here and there but i don't really consider them fights because i mean where would you want to travel next i really want to visit thailand i definitely want to try to go during the summer i don't know i have to figure that out always wear sunscreen guys it's really 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 important for skincare this is in korean i don't know what brand this is but you can also get this on Olive Young. Guys, Olive Young is my holy grail. Literally has everything that I need and want. Recently when I went to Korea, I bought a bunch of Korean skincare and Korean makeup. And because of that, I want to thank Olive Young for sponsoring today's video. Yay! I'm actually super, super, super excited to be working with them because I have so many products that I want to show you guys that I have been low-key gatekeeping. While I'm getting ready, I'll be showing you guys these products. But I just want to introduce you guys to Olive Young Global Mall. Not only can you buy Korean beauty products, you can also buy body care, Korean food, Korean supplements, like everything. And what's even more convenient is it has safe shipping to over 150 countries all around the world, including US, Japan, Canada, Australia, France, UK, and etc. within three to seven days. You can also get free shipping on purchases over $60 in the US. And you can also get a $35 coupon if you register as a new member of Olive Young Global app. Right now they're having the biggest promotion ever at Olive Young Global up to 77% off. So guys, when I tell you run, not walk, and this sales period is only for one week from November 30th to December 6th. I'll link all the products that I'll be using in this video in my description box. So let's get started with doing my makeup for today's date night. This cream really helps with making your face look just bright just my cheek over here. It's so much brighter, I love it. What would you be doing if you weren't doing YouTube? I went to school for music, majored in classical music performance, and I played the oboe. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a double reed instrument, and I've been playing it ever since sixth grade, so pretty much my entire life. I just woke up and I was like, you know what? I wanna become a professional oboe player. And my ultimate dream goal was to perform at the New York Philharmonic Orchestra. If you guys don't know what that is, search it up. It's a big orchestra in New York City. Really, really hard to get in. Like only the top 0.001% players are able to get in. You audition and it's like a whole process. Who in your life most makes you feel a sense of home? This is a toughie because I have multiple people in my life that I love. I would say my mom has been there through thick and thin. She's like my Wonder Woman and I look up to her a lot. So she's definitely one of the people that I feel very myself with. <gasps> Oh my god, I forgot to apply body lotion. Oh my god, I'm so... Ugh. Body skincare is also my priority. And if my skin doesn't feel like soft and smooth and buttery, I feel like disgusting. These days I've been using the Pine Grove body cream. I also got this on Olive Young. This is from the brand Beauty of Chosan. I'm also going to apply a couple drops of this Osea oil. I don't know why the pump is broken, so I need to do this all the time. It's so annoying. Ah, oh, before it spills. Mix these two all together and put it all over my legs. This might be a little TMI, but my butt has been really dry, so I'm going to put it in that area. Lotioning up my butt in front of the camera. Finally getting to the makeup part, I'm going to start covering up all my blemishes. Cover Perfection from The Sem. I got this recommended by my makeup artist. I recently discovered color correction. It makes all the difference into making your skin look natural and flawless. I'm using the green concealer. Cover up my redness. Always apply concealer before your foundation, not after, to avoid looking cakey. Oh, I'm so hungry, I can't wait for dinner. Like The last time I ate was for lunch and that was already three hours ago, so now I've digested everything and I'm so hungry right now. So a lot of people have been curious about how me and my boyfriend met. I mean, you guys might think like it was something super romantic, but honestly it wasn't. He just slid up in my DMs on Instagram. I realized that we had a lot of mutual friends, so I was curious and I'm like, oh, who is this person? We started just talking online. I was in LA one time and I found that he was also in LA, so we hung out with a bunch of 
people as a group and from then on we just sort of kind of like vibed out and started talking more it's nothing romantic honestly <laughs> i want to be adding some peachy color under my eyes for the eye part i love using my fingers because it makes it more natural next i'm gonna go in with my lancome foundation oh my god guys this is a tool that i've been using recently and i love it found it on olive young and it was on sale so i got it you apply it on the side and then you glide it like that oh my god do you see that <gasps> At first I was like, just use your fingers and put it all over your face. Guys, this makes the difference. And this spatula came with this little white sponge. Oh my God. Do you guys see it? Like, is the camera capturing this? My skin looks flawless. I realized after getting my makeup done by a professional, they're really gentle on the face, especially when it comes to foundation and skin stuff. I honestly prefer date nights where we just stay in and cook a meal together and watch TV, play with chai. I consider that a solid date night. So for us to like go out to a dinner reservation and be all fancy and dressed up is not too often. So that's the reason why I'm also putting an extra effort into looking good. Now that that's over, I'm gonna go in with an extra, extra coverage and I'm gonna use the tip concealer, the Sem. Apparently this concealer is like the rave in Korea, like every makeup artist is using this. I can see why this is the hype. It's so tiny and it's super inexpensive. It's like $6. It covers up so well, I'm shocked. As you can see, I'm just putting like very, very tiny dots just to give it that extra, extra coverage. For a daily basis, I use Cushion Puff. I use a lot of Cushion Puffs, but these days I've really been loving the Laneige version. Ta-da! Now my base is ready! All right, my makeup's looking very one-dimensional now, so I'm gonna do add some contour and some color to my face. I'm gonna be using 3CE Contour Shading in Ash Brown. I take the lightest color. Okay, I threw on a random dress because I was getting overheated in that robe. I'm gonna use the darker one and I'm putting it on the outside of my face. If you have a wide cheekbone like I do, don't place the contour under your cheekbone, otherwise it's gonna make it even wider. Place it right on your cheekbones. Technically, you're just cutting off like this much. It's like makeup plastic surgery, guys. And already, my face looks so much smaller. This is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead with my hair and style it before it completely dries out. Silk Oil Essence, it's for damaged hair. I don't know why this hair essence smells like Korea. It reminds me of Korea. This is what I imagine how Korean people smell like and I love it. <laughs> I don't know if that's like really weird or not. Now my hair is silky and soft. Recently, I've been getting a lot of DMs on how I curl my hair and it's really, really, really simple, guys. You can use a regular hair curler, but I use my Dyson. I just divide it into sections and start with the bottom. Portion. I'm gonna brush it out in a little bit and then I'm gonna do my top portion now I look like a crazy grandma right now, but once I use this wide brush and brush my hair out I'm gonna look sexy af and ta-da it's super easy. Oh my god. My hair already looks so good. Look at that. I curl the top roots over here so it gives that extra volume. And there you have it. My hair is complete. I'm running late. It's already four o'clock. The date is at seven. I only have three hours. We gotta we gotta hurry this up, guys, okay? This is not a joke. It's not funny anymore. Oh, I'm panicking. Before I do all my eye makeup, I love to apply blush. I have been obsessed with this two combo recently. I got my personalized color done. I found out that I'm a cool tone girlies. For all the cool tone girlies out there, it looks purple, but trust me, it looks so good on your skin. This is brand Clint by VDIVOV in the shade Pale Lilac. And I'm also gonna use this with, this is the brand called Rom And. This is in shade Better Than Cheek. This one's basically like a very pale pink. 
I use my purple blush. If you apply your blush like in the center of your cheek, not out here, it makes your face look more focused. Drag my blush down to my face right here. I don't think you can see it on camera, but look how freaking cute. Next, I'm gonna be using my powder. Just gonna let it set for a little bit. My face is so flawless. You can't even tell I have makeup on. I'm gonna be using the Giverny. I'm using this peachy color right here. I'm also gonna go in with the Clio palette. I'm using this brown shade over here. This palette is great for cool toned girlies. What's your strictest boundary in relationships? I don't know, maybe like, I would say, I want my boyfriend's best friend, that's a girl, to be me. And the same thing with me. Give me some tips of being in a relationship. I would say number one is communication. So you always need to make sure you voice out loud what you want and what you need and what you have a problem with so that the other person can understand that and take that into consideration and change whatever that person needs to change. I've been obsessed with glittery eyeshadow from Clio. I'm gonna use this one right here. Have you ever pulled your sister's hair and got into a big fight? Yes. What's your MBTI type? My MBTI, recently I took it, it's INTJ. Or ISS, ISTP. No, it's... Say the nicknames you tell to Fred. This is really embarrassing, and I feel like Fred's gonna hate me for telling you guys, but this is a joke, by the way. As a joke, we call each other Honey Bunny, only because I started calling Chai Honey Bunny, and then, like, as a joke, we're like, Honey Bunny! When will you marry? That's a toughy question. Ideally, I want to get married by the age of 30, if not sooner, because I want three kids. I want at least three kids, one dog, and all of that hopefully before the age of 35, maybe? I feel like marrying someone is such a huge commitment. It's really scary to think about. I'm using a water liner to tight line my eyes. Brown liquid eyeliner from Kiss Me. Just do the ends like that. My holy freaking grail. My cousin actually introduced this to me. You can get this at Olive Young. This brand is Colorgram. This pencil is specifically for egosar. If you guys don't know what egosar is, it's the little fat under your eyes that make you look all cute and full and alive. What you do is you go like, make the egosar stand out a little bit and put it under egosar. On the other side, there's a little pink stick. I love pink glitter. I don't know why, it just makes it brighter. Put this under my eyes. Oh my god, I love it. Do you guys see the difference? I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. Something's missing and I realize what it is. It's my lips. My lips look very pale right now. Who do you love more, Fred or cat cakes? Guys, stop giving me toughy questions. I literally cannot answer these type of questions. But if I had to choose, don't tell Fred this, guys. I would choose you guys. I love you guys more than Fred. Just kidding. Just kidding. About just kidding. About just kidding. About just kidding. I don't know. I love you guys both equally in different ways. My favorite combo these days have been these two lip products. Water Bear in shade 08. Hints in shade Dear Rose. If you guys want to achieve that blurred, pouty lip effect sort of makeup look, this, I recommend this. So I put this on, inner part of my lips, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put it all over like that. And that's it. Just kidding. Spread it out on my lips and then you keep tapping it in and you have this beautiful natural color on your lips. I've gotten a lot of comments on how my face looks so much smaller compared to the past. And let me tell you guys, I've been getting Botox on my jaws. I think I already told you guys, but, but another reason is honestly, I lost a lot of weight. During COVID was one of my heaviest times. I was eating junk food every night. I was not taking care of myself because I'm taking care of my body and my face. My face is less puffy than the past. Now I'm using the Kill Lash by Cleo. The final step is my outfit. Ta da! This top is from All Saints. This skirt is also from All Saints. I recently got it on sale for Black Friday, so I literally got it half price. I kind of look 
a little too goth right now, but that's just the vibes we're going for today. All right, now I'm gonna put on my earrings. Everyone's been asking me where I got these from. My boyfriend got it for me and he got it from this online. I don't really know. These are literally the only thing I wear. And this is the final look of my outfit. Thanks to Olive Young for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna purchase any of the Korean beauty products and skincare products that I mentioned in this video, you can go to the link in my description box. Remember, they have the biggest sale ever right now for one week up to 77% off. So I recommend you guys to run to their store right now and shop while it's on sale. The dress is so silky and soft and I love it. It's actually a dress and I wore a, this black thing over it. Look how shiny and gorgeous my hair looks. Ah! Erica's home right now, so I'm gonna ask her to rate my look. Why are you dressed up at 5 p.m. right now? <laughs> I'm going on a date with Fred. Hey. <laughs> you look like you're gonna like say goodnight to your kid. <laughs> your three-year-old kid. You look like those moms in K-dramas that never take care of the kid and like just leave it to like the nanny. <laughs> Guys, I look like a rich mom right now. <laughs> 엄마 아빠 지금 저녁 나갈 건데 나중에 봐 숙제해 안녕 바이 I'm so concerned